dear students welcome back to my youtube channel mcb chem tube you get my previous video from my personal home page or from my youtube channel so we were discussing the topic basic concepts in organic chemistry this is my third lecture series and in this lecture i want to discuss to you about an important reaction intermediate carbanion its formation structure and stability and reaction so we already discussed reaction intermediates usually formed by homolytic and heterolytic bond fission which results in the formation of very short lived transient species and highly reactive and quickly converted into products that is the general points about reaction intermediates so today we are discussing this one this carbanion intermediate <clears throat> so carbanion intermediate what is the definition of carbanion intermediate is a carbon atom bearing negative charge are called carbanion intermediate and it is very short lived species having transient existence and directly not observable and is highly unstable and highly reactive so these are the types of carbanion first one methyl carbanion and second ethyl isopropyl and tertiary butyl and this is primary car uh, carbanion and this is secondary one and this is tertiary and how the carbanion get generated usually carbanion and uh, carbocations are generated by ionization on heterolytic bond fission and on heterolysis carbon retains its lone pair usually uh, it generate carbanion and when <coughs> the carbon loses its lone pair it form carbocation so it is here you can see that carbon is getting its or retaining its lone pair on hydrolysis so how that possible so that is possible by proton abstraction for example in this particular case particular example and this ch2 that is in between two electron withdrawing group and in the presence of base it can abstract it can abstract a proton and it form carbanion okay that is the one method second method is decarboxylation and here the carboxyl group get evolved and this form a double bond so this bond break by losing this bonded pair to r alkyl then it become carbanion and there are some other methods also for the formation of carbanion so let's now let's discuss the structure of carbanion and carbanion it possess unshared pair of electrons so thus it is an electron rich species and it is negatively charged and having octet of electronics in, in its outermost shell of electron shell and it can act as an base and nucleophile very strong nucleophile and hybridization is sp3 and it is having pyramidal structure now let us look the structure we already know that in the case of methane hybridization is sp3 and it is tetrahedral in structure and it can range eight electron in its outermost shell similarly in carbanion it contains eight electrons and out of this eight electron it form four hybrid orbital that is four sp3 hybrid orbital and out of this four sp3 hybrid orbital three hybrid orbitals are uh, you know used to for making ch bond and fourth one possesses 
the lone pair of electron. It is exactly similar to the molecule ammonia. And here, out of eight, six electrons are used for making CH sigma bond and unshared pair occupied for the sp3 hybrid orbital. And here you have, uh, in this case, lone pair bond pair repulsion is greater than the bond pair bond pair repulsion. So there will be a deviation in regular tetrahedral shape and it become pyramidal with a bond angle of 97 to 100. Now look, what are the factors that determine the stability of carbanion? So there are four factors like inductive effect, second one extent of conjugation or resonance, and third one hybridization of carbon, and fourth one aromaticity. Let us discuss first the inductive effect. How the inductive effect determine or uh, affect, affect the stability. <coughs> Here you have two carbanion, one with the electron donating group, another with the electron withdrawing group. So how this electron donating group, you know, whether this can increase the negative charge here? Yes, of course, because it is donating electron density, so it can increase the negative charge. Whereas electron withdrawing group actually decreases the negative charge. So how the stability is decided? That stability depends on when a charge is delocalized to over the molecule, it becomes more stabilized. So when you compare these two molecules, where is delocalization? Of course, here the negative charge is delocalized. In this case, in this case, it is concentrated. Negative charge is concentrated on carbon atom. So electron withdrawing group decreases the charge and stabilizes. So electron donating group increases the negative charge and destabilizes. So when you compare the stability of this carbanion, three carbanions, you can see that tertiary will be less stable when compared to primary. And the most stable one will be Mide. Because here you have three alkyl group, here you have two alkyl and here only one. So suppose you have a three alkyl group, it increases the negative charge. And next one, this methyl carbanion, when one of hydrogen is replaced by electron withdrawing group, it becomes more stabilized because it decreases the negative charge and charge delocalization occurs. So when you have a more number of electron withdrawing group, it delocalizes more. And next one, extent of conjugation, that is the resonance effect. When you have a carbanion, when it uh, attached or uh, connected to a double bond, this negative charge will be delocalized over this double bond by resonance. This is the allylic carbanion and this is stabilized. Okay. Another example, benzylic carbanion. Here, the, this negative charge is not localized over the CH2, but whereas it is delocalized over the whole benzene ring. So, it uh, becomes stabilized. So, when you compare the stability of this allylic carbanion and benzylic carbanion, benzylic carbanion will be more stabilized because it has a more resonating structure. That means it more delocalization of this and get stabilized more. So when you compare the stability of tertiary allylic carbanion, secondary and primary, tertiary allylic will be more stabilized because this negative charge will be stabilized or resonance stabilized over the three allylic group. Similarly, in this benzylic group also. And third factors that determine the stability is hybridization of carbon. What does it mean? So this is the three example. This is the, you know, the alkyne carbanion. This is alkene carbanion or uh, vinyl carbanion or this is alkyl carbanion. And in each case, hybridizations are different. <coughs> in uh, this case, alkyne hybridization is sp and vinyl sp2 and alkyl carbanion it is sp3 
So it depends on the S character. You know, the stability of iron will be increased. How it's possible? Because in sp hybridized orbiter, there will be more 50% S character in sp233 and in sp3 here, what is the percentage of S25? So more S character means the it is more, you know, that is spherical shape and this is very close to the nucleus when compared to p orbital. S orbital is close to the nucleus. So with more S character, distance of lone pair and nucleus is less and it is also the negativity of this hybridization is higher. So there will be higher stabilization. So SP will be more stable than this carbon and will be more stable than this one than this. Okay, fourth factor that determines stability is aromaticity. And in, in the case of cyclopentadienyl anion, this is the molecule. And this cyclopentadienyl anion, it is having six electrons, two, two plus two. And it obeys octet rule and this is aromatic compound. And this is resonance stabilized. And when a carbon anion is, you know, delocalized and become aromatic, it gets extra stability. So these are the four factors that determine the stability of carbon ion. Next one, reactions of carbon ion. First one, proton abstraction. Carbon ion can abstract a proton from aqueous acid. It form methane alkyne. And next example is aldol reaction and aldehyde that is it undergo a condensation reaction to form aldol. So in aldehyde in the presence of base it form first the intermediate carbon ion. That carbon ion react with another molecule of a carbonyl of a same acetaldehyde and it form as intermediate like this. This one hydrolysis you get aldol. So these are the two reactions where the carbon ion intermediate are just involved or reactions of carbon ion. So in summary, so we have learned reaction intermediates carbon ion and carbon ions are electron rich species with octet of electron in its outer shell and it can act as a base or nucleophile and it is sp3 hybridized and uh, pyramidal structure and order stability of alkyl is like this methyl is more stable than primary which is more stable than secondary which is more stable than tertiary and the plus a effect and resonance effect and aromatization and hybridization of carbon uh, these are the some effect or phenomena which can determine the stability and carbon can undergo various types of reactions such as proton abstraction adult reaction Okay, that's all. Thank you for watching my video.